doing another commentary done by Diggity. 12 o'clock location. We have Monk starting as the orange Protoss, bottom left hand corner, Fisheye starting as the teal Protoss. I have to say, Fisheye not playing up to form in these matches that I'm used to seeing him play. It's which is unfortunate because I really had him slotted to maybe make it all the way to the finals, but the way it is happening thus far, I think Monk. And just his play last match was solid. Very, very good. And it could be that just having played against Gauss really put him in a mental frame of mind. This is going to be on Neil Silfid, which is a rampless map. So I'm hoping that encourages Fisheye to go for more two gate standard again. Once again, I feel like if he just plays the more safe standard macro style, his style, that he will probably take a game off Monk. However, if he continues to go for the uh, one base Reaver style of play, Monk showing that he's up for it and can easily take those matches down. But I do feel that Fish, uh, Fisheye's macro is just a little bit sharper, and that is his advantage in this match, where it feels like Monk's game decisions and game sense a little bit sharper than Fisheye's. At least that's what's been illustrated in the early stages of this series. It, I believe this is still best of five, so Fisheye's tournament life at risk. Scout after gateway, Monk again leaving the probe interior to base to get that little bit of a mineral advantage, dropping the assimilator. And I thought for sure, honestly, with the... Maybe Fisheye was thrown off and thought there was more economic damage that happened in the previous match. He was actually ahead after the two gate opener, but I could see where he might have thought that it was essentially the exact same opener and he had dropped probes and therefore might have played uh, a little bit lackadaisically in the continuation. But maybe upon reviewing the replay, might, if he's prone to do that, might have uh, had a source of encouragement recognizing he was actually in a solid position there. Three probes on gas immediately. It is going to be a two gate opener this time. Are we going to see the response of an attempted? This is almost inviting Citadel of a Dune play. Fisheye with the initial zealot walking across. Cybernetics core warping in and a pylon. He's going to send in that zealot off just one gate. Interesting. So going one gate cybernetics core himself. And that's a very delayed. That was very delayed from Fisheye. I'm a bit concerned, as this is going to be two gates in a much earlier cybernetics core, and there really wasn't anything Fisheye did to... He's, yeah, he's not playing on sharp form. It looks like he's getting a second Zealot out a little bit more rapidly. And this is going to be nothing but Dragoon, so he's going to test Monk's ability to repel Zealots now in the base. Monk able to squirrel out a probe mid-map. Zealot and probe going to rejoin and just go for kills... Battle probe in the probe lines. Monk cycling probes one at a time out, getting a good surround. Not quite the probe drill, but doing a fantastic job protecting the weakened probes, pulling them out last second. That's the first probe kill. Last probe acting like its own battalion right there. Monk down on workers though, after this opener, not keeping up with that probe construction, but up two dragoons in his hand is. Looks like he's going to be behind on range, however. Second gateway just now being dropped from Fisheye. Up on workers overall, but... I'm a little bit concerned that Monk is once again going to be able to take a much more rapid Nexus. Looks like he's going to skip his own range to preserve minerals to do so, potentially. Which is something I've seen Protoss do often in these matches. I kind of like that play. After initial Zealot rejection, that gets uh, only a single probe and probe lost otherwise. Fisheye once again, yeah, showing solid macro early, but looks like he wants to go for a base take himself. But again, because of that early, because of this delayed second gateway, it's very possible that he's going to be at a disadvantage by the time Monk... Monk just showing that he really knows the build order timings. Really has a very good sense of it, because he's going to be able to get there just in the nick of time to have the slight advantage against this two gate build before range kicks in everything. So now concentrating on that front zealot, this is on a rampless map. So that zealot gonna be wiped out. Fisher trying to buy himself some time. Now re-engaging that zealot, getting a tack of damage, but it's still a numbers advantage, barely for Monk. 
This is going to maybe delay that natural expansion. Fisheye with some good micromanagement to follow this up. And now Monk having to evacuate. That could have turned around into a disaster and might have forced... Oh, it looks like a couple probes did pull off the line. Fisheye still with the worker lead. No additional base. And we see Sidala, Vadun, and Templar Archives for Monk. We are seeing two gate robo this time. I'm looking for that observatory. There's the observatory. Fisheye just playing it. Yeah, just rock safe. Three photon cannons being dropped on the front. Wow, that might be an uh, over dedication. From Monk, also staging some dragoons on the high ground, was worried about, I don't know, maybe a gateway flood and follow up. Trust him a bit on this. He's going to cycle another probe along the edges. First, observe a shuttle being constructed. In between the robotic support bay, but we do have the first observer out shortly, and that's going to be before the Dark Templar has an opportunity to make it at the main. And Monk going to play Gauss style and drop that Nexus bottom right rather than the natural expansion. So interesting, going to blockade the cannons. Maybe that's to, well, we'll see how this plays. So cannon blockaded the natural expansion, but a Nexus take bottom right. Interesting. Good amount of Dragoons to provide that defense on the front. Fisheye, after this, should be able to scoot out and grab his natural himself. Work account has now evened up. This could be disaster right here, depending on the flight path of the Observer, because the follow-up is the Reaver. Does the Observer catch the Dark Templar? Barely on the edge, but Fisheye doesn't see it. He doesn't move the... Pro okay, now he moves them back around. So the Dragoons... As long as they aren't hold position, this should be fine. Cut just the edge right there. A Dark Templar waiting at the third as well. One Dragoon loses its life. So the Dark Templar at least equalizes its own cost a bit. And we are seeing a Nexus grab. Wow. Double Nexus, triple Nexus, bottom right. This is very cocky from Monk, I have to say. So Monk doing more again, kind of proving to be the, the villain overall, where he's going to again say, yep, I can do whatever. And the Dark Templar waiting on the wings. Is there another observer? There is another observer, but there's no defense units to start uh, to stop that Dark Templar. This could delay Fisheye on his assault. The observer, yeah, tracks that. The probes are going to have to defend themselves for a moment before the, the, the Dragoons are online. That's going to eat into the economy. So at least gas getting wiped out. So this Dark Templar proving worth it. And now I think Monk over playing his hand here because Fisheye is not Gauss and he's got a Reaver on your front and you just went triple Nexus bottom right hand corner. This is going to be a quick game. Dragoon's trying to pick off that shuttle from the rear. That's going to be GG. Let's see if Monk just tries to do a full reset bottom right. He's trying to rapidly build probes in the corner. Yeah, this was a bit of an ego build. But that... And he hasn't GG'd yet either, which is kind of like... Are you kidding me? Like, this is game right here. Cancellation. Can just work on the pylons, and this will be defenseless bases. And the Observer's right here, so... Yeah, okay, a Dark Templar slots out, but that's not going to be anything. Probe's getting annihilated. And the lack of GG has to be a red flag to Fisheye. Honestly, I'd just take out the two pylons. Yeah, and start patrolling. Dark Templar trying to blockade to buy some time. So nothing but probes bottom right. Gonna have to rebuild from scratch, dropping that cybernetic score to try to provide time. Fisheye getting his own natural expansion up. Some Dragoons with a... With detection, it looks like the probe's going to wait on that edge. That's going to be it for buildings over here. Fisheye, I think when he finds this, he's going to be like, are you kidding me? I think th this could provoke some sort of rage build in turn, <laughs> honestly. This would be t this would be tilting to me, to finding this right here. Like, yeah. Now Monk finally dropping the GG. So game one goes to... First, uh, a game goes to Fisheye here in this best of five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you appreciate it, give a like and a subscribe. Appreciate your viewership as always. Thanks for listening.